What's up guys, my name is Umesh and welcome to my channel, The Fashion Guru. How many of you guys head to your wardrobes when you're about to pick out an outfit and you just think to yourself, I have nothing to wear, even though it's full of jackets, shirts, sweatshirts, etc. Well guys, less is more and in today's video I will be going through 10 essential items that you need in your wardrobe. So at first we're after versatility when building a basic wardrobe. Once you're a little bit more confident in regard to the styles that you're wearing, you can be a little bit more edgier uh, in regards to your outfits. So number one on the list guys is t-shirts. It's important to keep things minimal when it comes to uh, your t-shirts. So stick to your solid colors, your blacks, your whites, your navies or your greys and try and stay away from patterned t-shirts, rolled up sleeves or the ones with some pockets. Remember, it's all about just being basic. There's so many ways you can style up a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt. They literally go with anything, whether you're trying to pair them with a pair of shorts, trousers, jeans, or even a smart blazer. Number two on the list, guys, we have a pair of black jeans. Now, as you can see, these are solid black, they're not faded and that's what you want to opt for when it comes to picking out some jeans for your basic wardrobe. You can go for a pair of black jeans or a pair of indigo jeans. If you opt for a faded colour then you will find it harder to style and if you're somebody who already struggles in regards to styling your outfits then it definitely wouldn't be the best option to choose. By the way guys, all these things listed in today's video will be in the description below along with my blog and my Instagram so be sure to check them out whilst watching the video or after. So number three on the list guys, we have white trainers. Now overall when it comes to outfits, you will not see me in many pair of trainers. However, white trainers are so versatile with any of the outfits you wish to pair them with. They go well with a pair of black jeans, pair of blue jeans, pair of smart trousers, chinos, even a suit. Um, white trainers is something you guys definitely need to invest in. These were from Zara. Even though it has a bit of a black strip here on the back, it's still quite easy to uh, style up with the outfits. On the side here, they have a zip with the laces. And as you can see, I try and keep them clean overall guys you don't want dirty white trainers so number four on the list guys we have a white dress shirt every man needs a white shirt in their wardrobe since you'll never know when you'll need it you could be going on a date or going to a wedding or just going out with your friends to a bar so if you're going to the bar for example you could wear this roll up the sleeves, have it tucked out and put a jacket on top for that casual vibe. Or of course, if you was going to a wedding, you could wear it with a suit and a tie or just a blazer on top without the tie. Of course, I will suggest that you should go for the other colors when it comes to choosing your shirts as well, your blacks or your blues. But to start off with, to start off your basic wardrobe, definitely go for a white shirt. Number five on the list guys is a sweater so wearing a sweater makes you look a lot more formal and it shows that you're a little bit more grown up and mature overall crew neck sweaters are great especially if you want to wear them with a coat or a blazer whereas if you opt for a v-neck sweater then you can wear a shirt and a tie with the sweater on top and then this will make you stand out from the crowd and it will show others that you actually took time in choosing out your outfit. So number six on the list guys is a casual blazer. As I mentioned previously, a sweater looks great with a blazer on top. Having a casual blazer is great, especially if you don't like wearing suits. It can easily be dressed up or dressed down. If you want to dress it down, you can wear it with a pair of jeans and a sweater and the blazer on top. Or if you want to dress it up a little bit, then you can wear a pair of smart trousers or chinos with a shirt and a blazer. This blazer is from Zara. I will try and leave the link in the description below if you want to check it out. Number seven on the list guys, we have a pair of 
navy trousers. Navy trousers are so versatile that you can dress them up with a pair of loafers, a white t-shirt or even a smart shirt or you can dress them down and wear them with a pair of white trainers and a denim jacket. Again these I have purchased from Zara. They have a little bit of a chain detail as you can see and I believe it's those little details that complement your outfits overall. Next on the list guys is dress shoes. Now every guy needs at least one pair of dress shoes in his wardrobe. Here I have some monk shoes which look great paired with a suit or even a pair of jeans. Dark brown or black is the way forward when it comes to picking up your dress shoes as they are a lot, are a lot more easier to pair with your suits, your trousers or your jeans. It would also be useful to invest in a pair of loafers guys. These loafers I purchased from River Island. I think they were roughly £20. Again, I will leave the link in the description below if you want to check them out. Loafers are great during the summer months if you want to wear a pair of smart trousers or if you have a wedding, let's say you have a wedding abroad and it's quite hot, then you can wear a pair of loafers along with your suit. Another kind of dress shoe you could invest in is a Chelsea boot. Chelsea boots are great for casual or smart styles. Those who know me know that I practically wear Chelsea boots 95% of the time. I just find them to be quite comfortable and versatile with the kind of outfits that I like to wear but definitely guys when it comes to the autumn winter month invest in a pair of Chelsea boots you will not be disappointed next on the list guys is a turtleneck so although it's not a basic piece of clothing that many would go for when it comes to building their wardrobe it's still something I had to throw in in today's list now I love turtlenecks they are my favorite piece of clothing when it comes to the autumn winter months. Overall, turtlenecks are so stylish and versatile that they complement your outfits regardless of what you're wearing them with. So if you're dressing up the turtleneck, you can wear it with a pair of trousers and some shoes with a blazer on top. If you're dressing it down, you can wear it with a pair of jeans, some Chelsea boots and a overcoat on top as well. Either way guys, you will find yourself getting a few compliments when you're wearing a turtleneck. Last but not least guys, the number 10 item that should be in your wardrobe is a suit. Every guy needs a navy suit in his wardrobe. Now this doesn't mean you just go for any kind of suit. Make sure it fits you well. If it doesn't fit you to the point of how you like it, then make sure you get it tailored because a tailored suit is like lingerie to women. So here I have a double breasted pinstripe navy suit from Harry Brown menswear. And when I received this suit, the jacket was great, it was a perfect fit, but the trousers were a little bit longer and a bit baggier for my liking. So I had them tailored, but as you can see from the photo here, the suit complemented my style and made me stand out from the crowd. Lastly guys, if you don't actually have a navy suit and you are looking to get one, um, I will leave the link below to the Harry Brown website. If you use my code UMESH15, you will receive 15% off your purchase and that code can be used as often as you like. So you could buy separate pieces and use the code on the separate items, which will lead to more savings for yourself. So that's a wrap from me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video of the 10 essential items that every man needs in his wardrobe and I hope I've given you some few tips in regards to how to style those outfits as well. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like and hit that subscribe button to be notified next time I upload the next video. As mentioned previously, I will leave all the links to today's items in the description below, along with the link to my website, thefashionguru.co.uk, where I upload more detailed blog posts on men's fashion, grooming and also a self-love section. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.